Is African spirituality bad? No. Come on, you, you know I'm going to say no. Am I biased? No. <laughs> Let me break this down for you, all right? Spirituality is something that is personal. It is personal to you. It is personal to me. Even if you do not believe in a God or religion or whatever the case may be, everything is always going to be personal. Yeah, it's just going to be personal. And that's okay. No one has to push your, no one has to push any spirituality or religion on you. Now, some do, but you can ignore that. Do you see what I mean? And just focus on what feels right for you. The problem is this though. The reason why it is perceived that African spirituality is bad is because it's been programmed to think and feel it's bad. Do you see what I mean? Like, let's look at it from another perspective, right? Let's break it down this way. For thousands of years, we can even stretch it back to millions of years, you have a particular group of people, and I'm just going to use a group of people, identity of people, and you could just say they're African, all right? I don't want to say any tribe because it could be any tribes. And what happens is they live in their life. They have their own customs, their own traditions, and everything that comes with that. So what happens is this. They have their own spiritual system and everything there. They believe in what they believe in. They practice the way that they practice. It's worked for them then, and it's always going to work for them. So what happens is this. Years later, another group of people come on a vibe of trying to invade the country or invade, yeah, invade the country basically on behalf of their particular um, monarchy. Now, the people, the indigenous people of Africa, whatever, guess what they do? They resist, they fight, and they win a few battles, and then they lose a few battles. And when they lose a few battles, you see what I mean? Then they, what happens is, another sector of those other people, yeah, that are not African, what happens is, they're, they're like missionaries. So they get the missionaries. Yeah, and some of them hire those that are not even as hire. They brutalize them into thinking and feeling that like they should live this way, this that, and the third, or this is going to happen to them. Like you see, what I mean, like f fear is a powerful thing. When people put fear into you, knowing what you fear, they can use that over you. Do you see what I'm saying? But anyway, they use that against you now. Or they use it against the Africans. And then they end up telling... Over years, they keep mentioning it's evil. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. This is the right way. This is the right way. This is the right way. And guess what happens? Over years, now you start believing that it's evil. Why? There's like... You may say, oh, well, this, that, and... The, like, there's no... There's no justification, there's no real justification to prove that it's bad. I think it could be like, well, you wouldn't be enslaved or you wouldn't be this or that or if that was the case. But that's not the case when they've got firepower. Hey, listen, don't even really get, break, get into it right now. Anyway, what I'm going to say is this. Click on the link in the description box below where it says become a member of the Atabulon Trust. Because when you do that, you get access to online courses such as African and Caribbean history. And you learn a lot more to do with, you know... African spirituality and all that stuff there. But other than that, you want to help us rebuild the infrastructure in the African and Caribbean diaspora, you can go ahead and do that so we can actually, you know, solve the many problems that persist since colonialism, since slavery and all that stuff there. So you click the link in the description box below which says make a donation. You can make a donation of any amount so you can help us achieve that goal. All right. So if you've got any questions, 
any topics you'd like for us to discuss in the videos, leave that in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.